Hey everybody, Sean here, and welcome to Revealing Truth. And special thanks to Poke2154 for sharing this. Isaiah took down the original video just like he took down this video when it was exposed as fake. But with today's video, thanks to John Clash for addressing this issue already and making a video about it. I gotta say, the video editing on this is really good, but sadly, the message is not. Imagine getting online for Judgment Day, there will be a great line, and you're sitting behind the Apostle Paul. Like, oh, it's a great white throne judgment, what's your name? I'm Paul, like, like, Paul? Like, the guy in the Bible, oh yeah, I'm Paul, you know? Shipwrecked five times, stoned three times, you know, beaten, sick, dead, oh uh, yeah, all that, that's me. What? Who are you? Oh, I'm Isaiah, oh, what, what did you do for me? I mean, uh, I went to church on Sunday, Paul's like, but I think you said you're a Christian. What is that? What do you mean you went to church on Sunday? Well, I went, but oh, yeah, but what'd you do for God? Well, I gave like 3%. I mean, I don't know. I just went. Paul's like, well, what'd you do there? Well, we sang three fast songs, two slow songs, offering, you know, 20 minute message. And then there's this thing called an altar call. I didn't really go, so I don't know much about it, but you know, people would go forward and then God would touch them and tell me some stories, the new covenant, the pouring out. I mean, what did you do? And you're like, I don't have any stories, Paul, because I'm not really a Christian. I just went to church on Sunday. I addressed this issue in the past, but for those that didn't see that video, this is a workspace salvation he's focusing on and how much we did for God. If we focus on how much we did for God as proof that we're saved, then there's no amount of good works that could possibly equate with what Christ did on the cross for us. We're all gonna have some works, some more than others, but that doesn't determine how saved we are. Has Isaiah ever read Ephesians 2 and that we are saved by grace through faith and not of works so that nobody can boast? And the second thing is that the great white throne judgment is separating the sheep from the goats, those who are saved and those who are not. This has nothing to do with our works. Christians will give an account of their lives at the judgment seat of Christ, otherwise known at the Bema seat judgment. And at that time, works will be rewarded. My friends, not only is Isaiah deceiving you in relation to Christians having demons, he really doesn't understand salvation either. Apparently, he got a lot of backlash for his works-based salvation on this video, so I'm thankful some people's eyes are being opened. Please stop following this guy before it's too late. Anyhow, we're going to leave it here for today, but leave your thoughts in the comments below, and until next time, take care and God bless.